Hello Virgos, how are you doing? Welcome to your love reading. I hope you are doing exceptionally well, Virgos. So let's jump in and see what messages are coming in for you. If you are interested in, of course, a personal reading, everything is below, right? I could make a video for you just like this with your questions, or you could speak to me one-on-one. -on -one. All right, for those that are still waiting for videos, everything will be delivered today. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. What's happening with my Virgo sun, moon, Venus signs? Be assertive. Say what you want. Know what you want. Step into this energy of going after what you want. And of course, with this amazing full moon happening, or again, whenever you may be watching it, happened already, there's an energy of being more... Being, being more ambitious when it comes to knowing exactly what it is that you desire Virgo it doesn't matter what they think you think anybody else may be thinking around I feel like there's something here that you're wanting especially when it comes to like career or love be assertive right especially I feel like this is more so a love energy of communicating someone here needs to take the initiative it may not be you virgo remember this again could go either way could be for a cross watcher but the message is here say what you mean say it right admit how you truly feel someone here could be i don't want to say shy but i feel like someone here holds back a lot with what they're feeling because of judgment or because of you know maybe the answer is going to be no right if i tell this person or if i tell the universe this is what i'm seeking Maybe I won't get it. Maybe I'm not deserving of it. Maybe I'm not deserving of that title. Maybe I'm not deserving of that confident relationship that has so much peace and harmony here. So it's going to be very important, especially if you're watching this and you're someone that manifests a lot. Be assertive with the universe. Be assertive with your partners and your friends and your family, right? Be able to know that, you know, there is a light under the tunnel here. There's something about recovering. You could be, again, recovering from a journey or recovering from something that maybe you felt really shifted things for you or caused you a, a, a deep transformative energy. Of course, it could have been very healing at the same time, but I feel like you're also taking your time here. I get this energy for some of you as if like I'm just sort of giving up on love I'm getting for some. Okay, not everybody. Let, you know, let the people that need to hear it, hear it. But someone's like, I'm sort of frustrated and tired with some of the things that have come in the past or some of the things that I've been introduced with here. So I feel like for some of you, there's going to be a lot of growth when it comes to speaking up. You're going to realize like, wow, I asked for this or I requested this by the universe and here it is. Judgment energy. You're going to start realizing a lot about your gifts. Gemini. Gemini. A lot of, or you're going to start realizing a lot about your gifts, Virgo. All right. Uh, whatever reason Gemini came out. I don't know why I'm not thinking about Gemini's at all. Right. But you could be connecting with a Gemini or Gemini's contacting you or you're a Gemini moon. But either way, there's something here that you're realizing. Okay. You're going to start realizing like I can achieve this. I could achieve this new beginning, this new opportunity here. I don't have to constantly deal with cycles and relationships. So this is really honestly expressing to me that some of you are making a decision to no longer stay in this like rat race of toxic relationships or when is this person going to approach or when is this person going to come back here? You could actually connect with new people, uh, a new tribe, a new soulmate, someone here that understands you. But I feel like it's actually one of those things where you start to notice this. This is you, Virgo. Okay, this is your energy coming in here and again manifesting itself, right? You've learned a lot. You've learned a lot. You've been through a lot here. I feel like for a lot of my Virgos, Venus, Moon, you've been in this place where there's been a lot of growth. There's been a lot of growth. There's been a lot of um, reflection. There's been a lot of understanding. There's been a lot of lessons. And you could have been a bit confused, like, okay, well, after this lesson, where do I go? What decision do I make here? Especially when it comes to a relationship here that has like this 
you know, a lack of movement and it's constantly going in the same circle or you don't really see much. For some of you, there could be some sort of contact or you may be assertive and reach out to someone. This could also be what it is. Uh, someone learning to open up, someone learning to, again, take, you know, take initiative, I'm hearing. Okay. But Virgos, one of the things I will admit to you here is you do have someone here that is in the space of wanting to wanting to like make something better or trying to heal something with you here. And because again, you are in this place of stepping out of repetition. That's the biggest thing I'm getting. You're stepping away from repetition, especially with the wheel of fortune here that popped out. There's something about a new beginning, a new cycle coming in, especially with the judgment here. All right. It's like, you know, I want you to remember life has a bunch of ups and downs, Virgo. Um, and right now I see you moving on the ups. All right. What's going on with Virgo? Nothing lasts forever. Something's closing out. I could tell you that. What's happening with my beautiful Virgos in love? Anything here in love for Virgos? Wow. Again, you have a new beginning coming in. All right. You have a new beginning. There's there's some sort of apology that if you are waiting for an apology, you'll get it. If you're waiting for someone here to acknowledge something, I feel like that also will come in. Someone here is taking initiative to come in and express themselves to you. You'll know who this person is, especially if they're very in and out or they have been very in and out. But with this Knight of Wands, I get like, I've been thinking about saying something to you for months, weeks you know, hours here. I want to say something could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo or Gemini here, or even a Taurus, but someone here, it's like, I've been wanting to say it, but I just don't know how to admit it, or I don't know how to come forward. And I feel like you're just saying, well, just be honest here. Okay. Why is the page of cups here? Someone owes you an apology, I feel, or there's an apology that needs to come in or something here that they feel like they need to give you. Thank you. Yeah, someone here wants, again, someone here wants to confront, someone here wants to confront something that happened in a relationship with you here, or they want to apologize for the way that they've spoken to you or the way that they made you feel. This is what's closing out with this Wheel of Fortune again. Yeah. This is, again, a, like, something you don't see coming, honestly. Virgo, I will say to you, there's someone here in your past you're completely releasing. You'll be okay with the apology. You'll be okay with this person coming in and expressing something to you. But I feel like moving forward, you're sitting in this energy of, I have to put myself first here, or I have to focus on me. I have to focus on my growth. It's like it comes off as if in the past, someone here didn't really want to put you first, or they didn't really want to give a relationship a chance, but now all of a sudden, yeah. Virgo, it's going to be very important, super important for you to put yourself first. Very important for you to put yourself first here. Try not to be distracted. There is an energy here that comes in that seems like they like to distract or again, they're not being straightforward and it's going to be up to you to be assertive in terms of what you desire and what you require in your life here. Uh, you'll know who this person is if they keep you waiting, like if there's like a waiting energy or they've kept you waiting in the past here. Tell me what Virgo doesn't see coming. What does Virgo not see coming here? Happiness, clarity, the truth being exposed. Someone here really expressing how they feel. Now, one thing I will say, Virgo, for a lot of you, you have a new soulmate coming in is what I'm getting. Virgo, wow. A lot of you, you have a new soulmate coming in. It's going to be very important for you to not wait for past people, past energies. It's going to be extremely important for you, especially, especially if you know that this has been a cycle. Let's say you've been connecting with someone and it's like they're not really doing anything different. There, there's no shift. There's no change here. Spirit is saying try not to avoid the fact that you have to put yourself first. Don't avoid the fact that you are a healer. Don't avoid the fact that, again, you have new doors and new opportunities coming in here. Uh, with the Six of Cups here, it does also show that 
again you know there is a past soulmate here or soulmate that wants to come in and bring in love but again you have the seven of swords so try not to avoid love overall all right don't avoid your happiness and don't avoid what you deserve in love don't ever avoid what you deserve okay don't avoid it but i do feel like there is someone maybe they're younger than you or this person could be um in a place where maybe they don't really offer anything substantial here and I'm also hearing there's a Virgo here that ran from a relationship in the past that had so much love just to go back to other things or old ways. All right, that's for someone here that's watching. Okay, someone ran from a connection just to go back to their old ways and now starting to realize I miss I miss this energy. I miss this person. Why do you why is someone running? All right, let's get a little bit more, please. We have twin flame. A lot of you are connecting with a new soulmate. You activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. With the six of cups again, okay? This talks about a soulmate. This talks about, again, you connecting with someone here that you've met in the past life before. All right? But again, you'll know... I feel like this is a new person, honestly. Uh, I really feel like this is possibly someone here that if they didn't run in the past, this is a whole new energy here. And you may actually find it really hard to believe the way that you feel about this person. It will be so intense here, Virgo. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one. I love you.